over to Girls UK is back for a brand new video. This is our weekly watch episode two. So let's take a look at what we're going to be watching this week. Right then, so I've just finished watching a movie called The Son of No One. This is a first time watch for me and it stars Channing Tatum, Al Pacino and Katie Holmes who plays Channing Tatum's character's wife. His name is Jonathan. And it's like an action thriller movie. There's some really good action sequences in there. Basically, it's a film where him and uh, him there in the back. I can't remember what his character's name is. It takes them back to 1986 when them was kids. And they was covering up a murder. And then as he grew up, he became a cop. And he just became a depressed so-and-so. And someone... <laughs> yeah, so-and-so. And someone was threatening them threatening his missus, sending letters, taking pictures and he had no idea who it was. I won't spoil who it is but at the end of the movie I will say that there is a really big shootout at the end as you can see on the back and I have to say I really did enjoy this movie so I would definitely be keeping this movie. This only costs a pound I think from pound yes. to pound. And it's a charity shop. We bought two copies by mistake. Oh yeah we bought two copies by I think we only paid a pound for it but I really enjoyed this I highly highly recommend this movie I'll probably give this 7.5 out of 10 because I really did enjoy this movie so let's take a look at the other movies I'll be watching the next day okay so we managed to watch a couple of more things me and Michelle went to watch the new um Alvis movie with Austin Butler who plays Alvis Presley obviously and Tom Hanks and uh Overall, I really did enjoy this movie. It basically shows you the life of Alvis Presley, if I can say his name. And it shows you, like, the death, and it shows you when he gets with Priscilla and um, when she gives birth to Lisa Marie Presley and stuff like that. And overall, I really did enjoy this movie. I would will, will give this a solid 9 out of 10, and I'm really, really, really thinking about pre-ordering that HMV exclusive because I keep looking at it, and uh, it'll go nice with my Tom Hanks collection. So I'm looking forward to when that comes out and I managed to watch the Blu-ray release of School of Rock. This is such a popular movie so I'm not going to bother telling you what this is about because I'm sure you know. But the only thing I will tell you that annoyed me a little bit is as you can see there is no special features. Considering that this is like a rare movie in the UK and stuff like that you think that there would be at least one special feature on there but there's like nothing i even went to the menu and all that was on there was the settings scenes and uh, the play button but i have to say that this is actually you wouldn't think it but it's actually better quality than the dvd so if you're ever on ebay or amazon and you see this cheap i do recommend you picking this up because it is really good quality in um on the blu-ray so i'm pretty sure that i'll be watching some other stuff this week so let's see what else i'm gonna watch right then so we've just finished watching dirty rotten scoundrels i have seen this movie so many times and it was the first time watch for michelle so basically this movie is a comedy where you see these two uh steve martin and michael Caine, their characters they try to con this woman out of fifty thousand pounds and they try to screw each other over while they're doing it and it is a really good film but this has some special features so it's got Audio commentary with director Frank Oz, behind the scenes feature it, te uh, teaser trailer and theatrical trailer. So, I really do enjoy this movie. I'm not sure. What do you think of this movie, Shad? Did you like Dirty Rotten Scoundrels? I really enjoyed it. I would give it a 9 out of 10. It's a film I'd watch again. I don't give 9s very often. Because well, I'm that. very picky. It is a really good comedy. I like the ending. I, I, I've spoiled it anyway. Uh, where she pisses and fucks them over and then goes back and then so and so yeah <laughs> it's really good i don't watch many films like that uh, older films i watch more sci-fi films so i'm looking forward to seeing what as lisa can get me into um i would recommend it especially the woman um oh, i don't know what her name is what's the actress's name is I don't know what her actress the woman, the woman, the one that plays the... janet janet yeah yeah the woman who plays her she is out of Grey's anatomy in er um, I've recognised her guys, but I didn't know until we read yeah. it up. She's actually dead now. That woman there. Yeah. The I middle. am going to watch the special features soon as well. 
Yeah. So lately I've been educating Michelle with some movies that she's never watched <coughs> before. So I don't know what the hell she's been watching. But it's certainly not the stuff that we've been watching. But yeah, I recommend this movie about it. It's such a brilliant movie. So let's see what else we're oh, going to watch. We've just finished watching Robin Hood Many Tights. Uh, this is, I'd say, a musical slash comedy romance film. This does have Patrick, uh, what's his name, Stuart, Patrick Stewart in, and what's his name, the other dude, the main actor, Lisa? Is it Carrie Elwes? What, how do you pronounce his last name? Okay, whatever Lisa just said, yeah. this is a region A Blu-ray. I, I bought this on eBay really cheap before. It does have some special features, I'll tell you what they are. So, Funny Men in Tights, Three Generations of Comedy, Robin Hood, Men in Tights, a legend, had it coming commentary by Mel Brooks an isolated school truck so this was a really good film um, it's it's like the normal Robin Hood uh, film but it's more comedy I'd highly recommend this I want to get this on VHS I have watched it on TV before um, before like 10-15 minutes when Lisa used to watch it I used to like, pop me head around every so often and I have noticed differences it's really good quality so I want to get the VHS for our collection because it when I like a film, I like to uh, not upgrade it. As you say, get other versions of it. Downgrade it. Downgrade it. <laughs> I want to get this on DVD. Lisa, what did you think of the quality of this? I actually think it's a really good quality because that's the first time that I've ever watched it on Blu-ray because I don't think you could buy it over here because obviously that's Region A, but they might have released it over here. But I, I do highly recommend this movie as well. It's basically a look at Robin Hood it's love a story. It's a reinvention of a Robin Hood story, but they made it more com comedy. So it's just more funny. you got um Patrick Stewart. I think he plays um the main... He plays the man at the end, of Yeah, the man at the end. I didn't know he was going to be in it until I seen it. Mm -hmm. And it looks really good. That's the one he just falls, falls in love with. They're all the comedies. And there's quite a few famous actors in there at the time can't say them all at the top of my head but i'd highly recommend you watch this if you do like a good comedy so let's see what other goodies we watch okay, for the week. so i have just finished watching gangulated which stars tupac and james belushi so this as you can see is a one-on-one -on -one movie which goes up there my one-on-one -on -one collection so this film is about these two where they're both coppers but they're both um corrupt and they're trying to solve this uh murder case if somebody got shot but uh, there's a few people that die and a few people that live, but I won't tell you who dies. But uh, I did find it is... Uh, I don't know what to say. It's, it was interesting. <laughs> it was good. But I don't know if I'd be watching this again anytime soon. It just felt like, you know, like a little bit of a drag sometimes. Like the court case, the scenes in the courtroom, I just find found them really slow paced and a bit dull. Um... The only scenes I did like was when there was like, as you can see at the back, really big shootouts. Um, I'd probably give this movie, I don't know, maybe 5.10, 5.10, 5.5 5 out of 10. Um, I probably will watch this again, but not anytime soon. <laughs> because I can't even remember how long it was on for. I think it was on for like 112 minutes, so yeah, but it felt... So much longer than that. But this was actually uh, Tupac's last movie before he died because he died in 1996. This got released in 1997. So at the end of the movie, just before the credits start rolling, it says, rest in peace, Tupac Shaka... Tupac? Tupac Shaka... How do you pronounce his name? What's his name? Shaka... Shaki... Shaku... Tupac. Rest in peace, Tupac. So it's got like a little... um tribute of Tupac at the end so if you're into your slow paced movies a little bit of action here and there then this film is for you trust me but for me this is a 5.5 out of 10 for sure so that is all the movies that we have watched this week so don't forget to hit that like button hit that sky button comment and share don't forget to join us on all our social media accounts. All the links are down below. So thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.